this problem is about a company selling tickets. And there are two important things in this problem. The things that matter to this company are the price that they sell the ticket at and the number of tickets that they sell. The price in this case is the independent variable and the number of tickets they sell or the quantity is the dependent variable. The reason is the company can choose what price to sell the tickets for and the quantity of tickets, the number of tickets that they sell, depends on that price. Typically we have X and Y for the independent and dependent variables, but we will choose P and Q to represent price and quantity. The first bit it tells you is that for $40 a ticket, you sell 120 tickets. So price is 40, quantity is 120. And then the last little bit here tells us what happens if you change the price. So if you increase by 2, you decrease Q, the number of tickets, by 5. The most important part of this is that this is a linear relationship. All those words on the previous page basically boil down to these two points, 4120 and 42115, and that this is a linear relationship. Now what we're going to do is write an equation for this linear relationship. So an equation for the number of tickets sold as a function of the price P. previous slide we did a process that we've done a bunch of times and we wrote Q as a function of P. Now what we're going to do is we're going to write the revenue as a function of P. Here's what I mean. Revenue is P times Q or price times quantity. The problem with this is that this is a function of both P and Q. Right? There are two letters there. We need to write this as just a function of P. So we need to get rid of the Q. The way you do this is you substitute. and then you just simplify. Distribute that P. Now you have R as only a function of P, which is what we wanted. Good to go. So we have our revenue equation right here. This is a function that tells you what the revenue is based on what price we charge per ticket. Now what we want to know is how do we get the best revenue? What price should we charge to maximize the revenue? Well, first off, what kind of function is this? It's got a p squared, so it's actually a quadratic. Now, if you graph it, it's a downward-facing parabola because the number in front of the p squared is negative. So there's clearly a maximum point on this revenue graph, and that's what we want to figure out. For a quadratic, all you need to do is use the vertex formula to figure out the maximum. That is, price is negative b over 2a. Remember that formula? Well, all you do is plug those numbers in and you get $44. That's the price you should charge to get the maximum revenue. Now if you want to figure out what that maximum revenue actually is as a number, just plug the $44 in for P, boom, your revenue equation spits out the answer. And if you want more practice on this, see numbers 4 and 5 from lesson 2. Those problems are done in exactly the same way maybe using profit, maybe using revenue. You just have to read the problem to figure out, but the process will be exactly the same.